So this is where the UC hides all the scary shit they're doing. What I'd give to have all the rangers with me right now. Authorized personnel only. Try to stay here. That's a fair cop. I'll, uh, just stay here. Yeah. 
effort by the UC to protect my legacy. My daughter's legacy. No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. Captain, we've done something great here. Let's not squander the opportunity. 
opportunity to do more. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The Microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the Cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew... Why? Did he say why he did it? It takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. Fay Victus? That monster's still around? And you did all this for his goddamn family name? Listen, I know the burden of having a famous name, but you don't see me sicking terramorphs on civilians. Well, once we inform the Cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. My hope would be that whatever connections he's got to the outside world disappear. Make sure his future schemes and machinations stay in his cell with him. But honestly, I'm not sure. He's in a unique position, and has done a special kind of harm to the colonies. Exactly. Bring justice to everyone he's hurt. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the Cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss, this might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the Cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Microbe is gonna make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The Cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the Cabinet wait, see if they have a preference. They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Aceles seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> Aceles aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Aceles, we're at least dealing with known risks. It's hard to know. 
Unlike my father, the cabinet aren't butchers. But killing UC citizens, along with everything else he's done, is unforgivable. But if you're really that concerned, you could request they be lenient. They might be willing to spare him. Then here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? My god. An attack? Using Terramorphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? Well, ma'am, it seems your report is incorrect. Francois Sanon was responsible for the attacks. He did what? That, that, that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was gonna end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now that's quite the accusation your group is leveling. Seeing as Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible Heavens help us. I, is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Vavicta sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. That's... That's truly disconcerting to hear. But cutting off Vae Victus' contact with the outside world is likely to be just the beginning of his punishment. That will be up to the Cabinet to decide. But I don't appreciate our mercy being taken advantage of. I'm not sure I see why someone with UC blood on their hands would merit leniency but I will note your request when the decision is made. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. 
with the threads you've brought together here. The Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches. The three of you have likely spared thousands of lives, but it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Well, luckily the natural hostility of Londinian makes keeping out trespassers relatively easy. But we'll ensure its growth is contained, that access to the plant is only permitted via highly regulated clearances, and that our true presence on Londinian is increased. Tell the Freestar Collective. Wow. So they have another tool to utilize against us? I'm in agreement. I fail to see the value here. At least it would bring some adults in the room. Hell, Cora would handle this situation better than the whole UC High Command. Oh, that is an interesting idea. A grand gesture to further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So, you want us to make nice with the Collective by sharing our state secrets? No. I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions, that the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Hmm. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kolkarni. Very well. We'll get the Collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Please, ask. The responsibilities will be spread across multiple branches of the UC. Research and day-to-day -day administration will be handled by a new group under the Science Division. All diplomatic concerns and coordination will fall to Chief Yassin and Interstellar Affairs. But most of the actual on-the-ground work, that'll be handled by the Vanguard. This won't work without them. Exactly right, ma'am. The Interstellar Affairs Office has already begun reaching out to worlds throughout the settled systems, informing them of the risks we're all facing. 
and that the UC has a plan to prevent what happened on New Atlantis from happening elsewhere. Thus far, the response has been overwhelmingly positive. The spirit of mutual cooperation displayed between the UC and the Freestar Collective in managing the Terramorph data set a good tone for the work we're doing, Captain. We expect we'll hit some resistance, but our office has plenty of carrots and sticks to ensure the program's widespread success. Infinitesimally low. But not zero. The chance of a starship landing on you as you sit here isn't zero, yet you still attend it. Personally, my fear isn't mutation, but Terramorphs developing a resistance. But that's something our group can continue to address if we decide to take this approach, as I believe we should. I can feel this one. While intimidating creatures, certainly, Asili's are docile and less provoked. They're honestly closer to oversized mobile scanners than deadly predators. The concern is that, while all proposed methods will be long-term efforts, the Asili's are the slowest. Slow to breed, slow to deploy. We do everything we could to accelerate that process, including mustering some of our mothballed cloning technologies. But if we do elect to use this method, we'll be doing things at the pace of a megafauna, which is not an expedient one. Very well. Then did you have a preference on the method we should deploy? I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. I expect my evening constitutionals are about to become a whole lot more eventful. Hardly. You may just have a little more company than before. Order, please. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class I citizens to our ranks. Class I? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies, or done great things for its cause. Class Ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts, spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. And as a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you, Captain, will have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. You know I went to chef school? This ain't exactly where I saw myself. This is the first step in our long march against the Terramorphs. All branches of the UC are on board with the plan. Now it's just a matter of how we execute it. Pardon? They evict us. May he never heard of you.
Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a Class 1 citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. It's a high honor. Have to do something big for the colonies to earn that sort of designation. Only ever met a couple myself, and certainly never given one orders. You should be real proud. No need to thank me. You brought this all on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class 1 benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. About to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. Just out the front door and across the plaza, by the embassies. Look for the Affilion sign. Higher-ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But, with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up Terramorphs. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those missions call to you? Suppose that's true. Well, we can remedy that right now. Just getting those coordinates to you now. Report says ships at these coordinates fired on United Colonies craft. You're clear to use lethal force if necessary. Crimson Fleet decided to rear their ugly heads. Make them regret it. Fly smart up there. ready to make a deal. Well, well, if it isn't the United Colony's newest Class 1 citizen, you've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher-ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower. Best location in New Atlantis, in my professional opinion. What do you say? It'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner. Great! You're in for a real treat. It's one of my favorite apartments in the city. Okay, you're all set. Your new home's located in Mercury Tower in the residential district. You'll love the place. It has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. Now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. <laughs> 